question is like this using the property of determinants prove that the determinant a square plus 1 a b a c and so on is equal to 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square now to solve this question first of all we take the left hand side the left hand side is given to us as a square plus 1 a b a c a b b square plus 1 b c c a c b c square plus 1 now to solve this question I am going to do something very tricky and it is like this from the row 1 I am going to take a as common from row 2 I am going to take b as common and c common from the row 3 okay so on taking a b and c from r1 r2 r3 common respectively I am going to get the determinant like this so it's clear that from a b and a c I have taken a common and from a square plus 1 I cannot take a common so I have divided a square plus 1 with a similarly from these two terms I have taken b common and from b square plus 1 I cannot take b common so I have divided this by b and similarly here the same thing has been done now next what I am going to do I am going to multiply a to column 1 b to column 2 and c to column 3 like this so I am going to get the determinant like this okay on simplifying this determinant this a and a cancel out this is going to become b square this is going to become c square a square a square b square b square plus 1 c square c square plus 1 so I'm going to get the determinant like this okay now next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to add the elements of column 2 and 3 to element or uh, to the column 1 so applying c1 is changed to c1 plus c2 plus c3 I'm going to get this as a square plus 1 b square c square a square plus b square plus 1 plus c square a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 simply I've written the terms of the column 1 column 2 and column 3 as adding okay and this column c3 and c2 remains as it is now all these terms in the column 1 are equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 so I can take 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square as common and on taking the terms common I'm going to get 1 1 1 and these two columns as it is further I see here that all the terms of the column 1 are 1 1 and 1 so it is very easy to make them equal to uh, 0 that is two terms can be made very easily equal to 0 so applying r2 is changed to r2 minus r1 and r3 is changed to r3 minus r1 I'm going to get 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square and subtracting the elements of the row 2 from the elements of row 1 I'm going to get 1 minus 1 b square plus 1 minus b square c square minus c square and similarly elements of the row 3 are subtracted from the element of row 1 so I'm going to get 1 minus 1 b square minus b square c square plus 1 minus c square so this I'm going to get 0 0 here 1 0 here 0 here 1 so I'm going to get the determinant like this and on expanding along c1 I'm going to get 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square times 1 into the determinant obtained by removing the first row and first column that is 1 into 1 0 0 1 plus 0 plus 0 okay so this is going to be 1 I'm going to get this as a square 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square into 1 or 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square so this is how we have proved that the determinant is equal to 1 upon a square 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square